we are back again with another draw with me and here we are with our precious jar uh, full of all the words that we could think of or that I could think of that were close to me uh, if you want to see the past videos I've done it'll be up here in the corner but, uh, let's see what word we've got today come come here oh, I should have picked an easier jar to be honest yeah, there we go Today we're going to be using some little watercolours I found buried in my desk. Fingers crossed that I'll be able to make this look good. Oh, food. You can never go wrong with food. I love food. This is, this is going to be fun. <sighs> okay, let's see. So we've got food as our theme. That's the wrong way around. There we go. Food as our theme. And here we are with our pink pig sketchbook once again. And the... There we are. Let's go to a fresh new page. Fix that a bit. There we go. All nice and clean. Ah! I'm dropping everything. And we'll have some ink pens to go along with it. Because why not? Food is always such a it's always a hit and miss thing. Some people love food and eating. Some people are fine with food. Other people don't like eating, uh, which scares me because we need it to live. Uh, so it's food changes drastically depending on where you live in the world and depending on your culture. Um, so I, for example, I live in the UK, uh, and funny enough, mostly all of our, like, food comes from, like, other places, like, you've got the pizza, the burger, um, uh, yeah, there's a lot of different, uh, foods from other places that are considered quite staple here. Curry is the biggest example of that, and I do love a good curry. Although most people would think that, you know, you know, they'd say, like, it's not proper curry, and that, yeah, they're right, it, it's not, I've had... A, a, a proper proper curry before and my my poor British taste buds could not could not withstand it sadly so I'm gonna stick to comfort foods because life has gone just absolutely insane uh, for the past while well, for the past two years if you think about it, it's been two years how insane is that uh, so I'm going to stick to comfort foods I eat to this day that were introduced mainly during my childhood. And to all my fellow Brits out there um, who will know this one, it is the classic beans on toast. Yes, just beans on toast. Heinz beans, as his own beans, it doesn't matter what type of beans. You were given this as a kid and it was amazing. Or you were one of those kids that just did not like it and it is the bane of your existence. Uh, <laughs> just had to realise this might not show up too well on the actual camera, I'm not sure. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. Okay, that might help. Or it could be too bright, one sec. No, that makes it worse. Oh well, we'll just have to see how it goes and maybe I can finish whatever's going wrong in post. Fingers crossed. So yeah, beans on coast, a staple of the food that <laughs> that you would just eat. It, it's a real. I I personally like beans on toast quite a lot. It's a very it's a very cheap meal, um, and it's filling. It's full of carbs and sugar because the beans you get in like cans aren't really all that good for you, but they're still bloody delicious and good. So let's just have some beans flying everywhere around, why not? Giant beans. And they're usually in this reddish sauce, I think some type of tomato sauce. Um, yeah, this is like a big staple uh, when you're a kid, especially if you grew up in, um, uh, with like, where your parents are kind of just kind of uh, trying to get by and do their best. Let me know what type of like comfort food you like. Draw them and uh, tag me on uh, them in my Instagram and Twitter. I'd really like to see um, what other people's uh, foods are. Or just let me know in the comments as well. Just get the basic shapes. I'm trying to remember 
how I was taught to do watercolour. Oh, it's been years. Why did I, why did I try to do this? Oh well. Okay, so that's the beans on toast. We'll let that dry and then we'll come back to it. What other type of comfort foods were there? I loved as a kid. I guess it doesn't have to be just as I'm a kid. Um, I never really liked fish and chips as a child, funny enough. Uh, it's like meant to be a big staple here. Uh, but I was never really that fond of it. It actually made me feel, I, I think it was the batter. Yeah, definitely the batter that uh, made me. It was like very greasy and slimy. Uh, I was not a fan of it as a kid at all. Although there is one thing, and it is related to beans on toast. It's a staple, a classic, if you will. Uh, <laughs> just realised a lot of British food is very um. Uh, what's the, oh, what's the word? Uh, starchy, maybe, is the correct term. But it's a delicious English breakfast. Yes. A delicious breakfast of eggs and hash browns, bacon. Oh, I'm getting really hungry. Why did I do this? Why am I doing this to myself? It's just making me hungry. Um... Yeah, the deliciousness of eggs. Come on. Ugh. Ah! You could just watch me completely fail at watercolour. This this should just be a not... It shouldn't be a draw with me. It should be a watch me fail at draw with watercolour. Oh, uh, because that's what this is. So yeah, it's like, I remember having this as a kid, and obviously you'd get the kid version, but there was just so much, like, food on one plate. Um, so obviously you've got the eggs, and then uh, you've got the bacon, you can't go wrong with a nice bit of bacon. Unless you don't eat bacon, then uh, you can get the vegan bacon. Oh god, that's way too watery. Eh, we'll use it as a base. Delicious bacon. This is the thing I've realised about watercolour. Maybe I should plan these a bit more ahead so that it's going to take forever to dry. Uh. Oh, that kind of worked. There we go. I remember, I think it was a few years ago on the news, they were on about how like bacon is really bad for you and two rashers of it a day will... Uh, will kill you or give you cancer or something like that. I think I was watching Russell Howard's Good News actually, and um, oh my god, he I love I love Russell Howard's Good News. He just takes the absolute piss out of everything, but he also keeps it serious where it matters, and it's it's just it's lovely, absolutely lovely. Eggs, bacon, or you need sausage. I hope I don't make this sausage look like a poop. I have a feeling I might because this is how much skill I feel like I have <laughs> if anyone has any watercolor tips let me know it's been a while since I've done watercolor um, but I thought it would be nice to kind of get out of my comfort zone for these videos and try different um, what's the word called um, <laughs> I'm going insane. Uh, different techniques for uh, these videos to keep it kind of nice and different, and that way we can try a little bit of everything, and I can try to improve my skills, maybe a little bit, just a tad. Although this is not looking good, but that does not matter because that is not what this is about. This sketchbook in particular is just to doodle in and practice and have fun with it. I find sometimes, especially with how heavy uh, artists are in social media, they can get very um, uh, stuck in the fact that, oh, it's got to be perfect, oh, it's got to be pretty, oh, it's got to be... Um, uh, this specific way uh, and so I can get like a ton of followers and all that stuff and 
I, I, I was definitely like that and it never really worked out and it made me stress like crazy. It was not, it was not a fun time uh, in my young life back then and also uh, it was a little different. We didn't really have any uh, assistant-y uh, stuff and no one really knew what algorithms were or if they did I certainly didn't um, and to be honest I still don't technically understand them to this day. So yeah, uh, I'm just going to keep doing what I enjoy doing and what I think needs to be done. And then yeah, this is kind of looking like a breakfast cat. We got the ears, we got the eyes, a very long nose and a weird, maybe it's a guy, the cat, the breakfast cat is smoking, breakfast cat, this is it, this is breakfast cat. It's decided, it's official, no one can tell me otherwise. I'm running out of water in these pens. Yeah, eggs, bacon, sausage, toast. Oh, hash browns. You cannot forget the hash browns. Hash browns are my absolute favourite. Just realised there's not a lot of greenery in um, in, uh, bre in uh, English breakfast. It's mainly just yellows and browns. and uh, yeah, It's not the healthiest thing for you, but it is just so damn good. Yeah, absolutely delicious. This will probably look better once I... Start adding ink to it. There we go. Oh, my nose. It's getting incredibly cold lately, I've noticed. Like, we just had a massive rainstorm last night. And it's made the air smell amazing, like, nice and clean and all that stuff. But it's also incredibly um, cold now. Uh, which is not... I, I, I do prefer the cold, but I think my nose just is not used to it anymore. Because we've had weird, insane weather lately. It's very, very weird. Very weird, very insane. Then again, the British weather has never been all that predictable. The weatherman is usually wrong most of the time. There we go. Okay. So we've got the beans on toast. A classic cheap food. We've got the full English breakfast. I'm probably missing a few things. But that's because I don't like mushrooms or tomato on my breakfast. I will fight you on this. It's yucky. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> please don't come for me, my fellow Brits. Or anyone that likes this in general. Let's see, what else is, is there? Um, we are a big fan of our biscuits. Our, like our, our digestives and all that stuff. Although we also... Oh, scones. Scones! You can't say no to a good scone with some jam. Scone? Scone. This is a big debate here that I, I, can, I can never, I can never truly um, understand. How, how do you say it? How do you say it? Is it scone or scone or what? Let's, uh, there we go. Okay, my camera battery's going to die soon so I need to wrap this up. Is it scone or scone or how else would you need some jam? It needs jam. People I found in the UK can be actually very picky about how like certain things go. I was talking to a colleague of mine the other day. She was on about how uh, her neighbour was disgusted with her uh, when they came over to grab something uh, about the fact that she was having a, sco a scone and she put the, the 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 was it the cream on the top and the jam on the bottom. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter at the end of the day uh, because yeah it's. I mean, you're going to eat it either way. And she was just very confused about it. And I usually eat my scones with either a bit of jam. I don't bother adding uh, cream most of the time. I know. It's it's a dis disgrace. And am I really a true Brit if I don't put cream on my scones? Or scones? Or however the hell you say them? I don't know. We may never know. There's so many ways to eat food. And there's so many different kinds of food. Um, it's just incredibly, people can get very nitpicky with food, and I can kind of understand why, maybe if it's a traditional thing, um, but I, I definitely know there's, uh, there's picky ears that are like, that, like my younger sibling is one of them, uh, they are not the biggest fan of different textures. Um, oh god, no, I've used too much water. No! 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 It's all dripping! Do I have tissues? Ah! 
and I just dropped my phone. Who knew watercolours could be so, uh, there we go, could be so, there we are, okay that's that looks a little better. Who knew watercolours could be so chaotic? Oh dear. Anyone got any watercolour tips? Share them in the comments because, yeah. <laughs> This is probably not the best uh, showing of um, how to do watercolours. So yeah, we've got the beans on toast, we've got the full English breakfast, we've got scones with only jam because I'm a weirdo like that. Fight me. <laughs> I mean, I won't really fight back because I don't see a point, so you'll probably win anyway. Because food is food, and if you like it the way you like it, then that's fine. There we go. Okay. So next, um, I don't know what else. I mean, I, I've since I've got older, I've definitely tried different foods, and uh, those foods have been really nice. Um, and I found out that they were not. Um, Food. We're only going to mm, show you one spread or two. I don't want the going over there like that. Hmm. Hmm. That should be fine. Uh, what type of food I do enjoy? I really should make a list, but then it wouldn't be a surprise when I do these videos. I don't know. Let me know in the comments because I definitely go full on scatterbrained when uh, this sort of thing comes up. Okay, I'm going to go for a light blue here, we'll just go all along like this for now, on this one. This way this can show like the food from like across the sea <laughs> or something, or the food that's just out of this small little island where I live. Because if you think the UK it's just a little island really. But then again, it does have so much from all the different cultures. Like, obviously, there's, like, uh, pizza and pasta and burgers and fried chicken. Oh, God, I'm just getting really hungry. I apologise if um, if you're getting hungry. But at least you can pause this video and go get a snack. Uh, should I just pause recording and go get a snack? No, I need to get this done. Okay. There we go. So, while that's going, I should have done that at the beginning to let it dry, but who cares, I don't. Let's, uh, let's focus on, are these dry yet? They are, huzzah! Add a little detail with these pens, I need to be careful because some of these are still wet. Let's go for the little beans, little beans. Not the beans that are cat paws, the beans that are in the cans. There we go. It looks a little better. Kind of. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Dang, this video has made me incredibly hungry though. Let's see, we got the... Beans here, beans there, beans are everywhere. God, holding my pen this way is painful. Let's just go. Let's just go full on messy sketchbook. Who cares about being neat? Let's go full on messy sketchbook chaos. That's way more fun than being super tidy and and all that stuff. There we go. Having messy, messy sketchbooks are important. And I need to remind by that just as much as everyone else does. So yeah, if you have a messy sketchbook, welcome to the Messy Sketchbook Club. There we go. Add a little bit of lines here. There we go, that way it looks like it's been cooked. Oh, 
What I like about hash browns is they're very textured, they're very crispy and crunchy. Well, when they're done right, they're very crispy and crunchy. When they're done wrong, it's very sad. Very, very, very sad. Makes me very sad. There we go. Breakfast cat is alive. Breakfast cat. <laughs> We go. Okay. There we go. That looks pretty good. And is this still wet? No, it's not. That's good. Okay, maybe it is just a tiny bit wet, but we can we can work with that. We can work with that. Where did I put my white pen actually? That'll be good for in here. Here we are. My unlimited my unlimited drawer of pens. Ah, okay, this pen doesn't work as great on watercolour, but oh well. Make everything shiny. There we go. Okay, so that kind of works. Probably can't see it on camera, but oh well. Oh, please excuse me. <sighs> okay, let's see what else do we need. There we go. So we've got beans on toast, we've got the full English, we've got a yummy scone. Then we have... I keep dropping everything today. All these pens. Oh well. Let's see. The, the, the food I have grown to love as I've got older. One of them... Yep, one of them is definitely a delicious bowl of chicken teriyaki and sticky rice. Oh, it's so good. There's this place in Cheltenham called... Uh, uh, Wakame. Uh, not sponsored, but if you're ever in Cheltenham, I do recommend going. They have the most delicious chicken teriyaki. Um, oh, it's so good. Oh, I miss it so much. I miss being able to go there almost every night and picking out on their delicious food. Um, so yeah, uh, their uh, chicken teriyaki was always something I was really confused about. I didn't know what teriyaki was. I didn't know what sticky rice was. Um, uh, it was like the first like meal I really learned to love, but I can never seem to make just as good um, or make at all, to be honest, <laughs> uh, when I like left to home for the first time, left the nest. Ow. There we go. So you got the sticky rice. It was just, oh, it was just so good and I wish I could figure out how to make it from home. It would probably take just a simple Google search, to be honest, but I am far too lazy for that. Let me know what food you enjoy the most. Um, one that you either learnt to love over time, or uh, one where I'm not making this look very appealing at all. <laughs> um, or one that uh, you discovered uh, when you were like just starting out uh, on your own and you were just like, this is amazing, I have to have this every day. Uh, I'm going to come back to that because I think I've made the paint a bit too What other meals do I like? Noodles. Noodles. Just any type of noodle. Uh, just always good and delicious. So let's just do some long noodles because I eat a lot of those. I feel like I could have got away with doing a one page spread today but oh well I just have to make things difficult for myself don't I? This is not looking like noodles at all. Uh, maybe if I put um, chopsticks. My bad attempt to draw food. There we go. 
sorry if you can hear slapping noises. For some reason my neighbour is making a lot of slapping noises in his garden and I'm not quite sure why. And I don't really want to know, to be honest. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Um, what else? Okay, I'm going to need to get that. Mm, there we go. I really like chilli noodles. Uh, sweet chilli. Always nice. Always delicious. So we're just going to make these red like chilli noodles are. I am a big, quite a big fan of like the spicy food, but also not the spicy food. If it goes over like a certain limit or something, I am quite the worst. But compared to almost everyone else I know, I think I have the best spicy tongue out of all of us. How high can you take your spice? Do you think you would be able to survive the hot wings? I love that. I love that show. I hope Matt Pat gets to go on that show one day. His recent videos about it have been very fun and very interesting. I kind of want to see him just go on Hot Ones and see what happens. The Gordon Ramsay are on Hot Ones is probably my favourite one so far. There we go. Well, that looks like uh, that looks like something. I don't know what, but oh well. Let's uh, have some. Let's have some sauce just splattering about. Because whenever you have noodles and you slurp them up, I don't know if it's if uh, if like it's considered rude or not to slurp your noodles. I have no idea, but sometimes it just happens. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear snoring in the background. My dog has decided to go to sleep right near my desk. So, yeah. You are hearing doggy snores if you are hearing them at all. I really need another tissue for these pens. There we go. Okay, that looks a tiny bit better. Oh, there is one food that I have always loved, ever since I was a child, and it has grown up with me, even in adulthood, and it's something my mum absolutely hates. And that is the delicious salvation, our Lord and Saviour, that is garlic bread. I did discover recently there's a lot of asexual memes about garlic bread, so maybe the fact that I'm an ace and aces seem to be attracted to garlic bread, maybe it's just, maybe I was just born, uh, <laughs> born with a, a love for garlic bread. <laughs> I do like that garlic bread and cake. Um, I found are quite the the, the memeable foods when it comes to uh, asexual memes or jokes. You know the nice asexual memes and jokes. The the bad ones can go die in a ditch somewhere. We don't we don't like that. We don't like negativity of other people's uh, sexuality here. If you like that, then go shoo 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 shoo. Ah, I'm dropping everything. Note to self: tidy desk before you start painting. Also, I would like to apologise ahead of time to any watercolour artists who are what if any of them are watching and seeing my absolute horrible attempt at watercolour. I am not sorry. Uh, but also, I'm sorry. Okay, this is just getting weirder and weirder. Time to add the delicious. Uh, let's get the green little specks of garlic bread. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Just use basic shapes and colour and it will look like it eventually. Yeah, it will look like it eventually. There we go, it's starting to look more like garlic bread already. There we are. And I think it's time we add some of the green onion to the teriyaki bowl. There we go. Yeah. 
despite the train wreck that has brought us here, it's not looking too bad. Hmm, there are some gaps. What should we else should we make? This is gonna be an incredibly long video. Um hmm. garlic bread cake. Cake. We need cake, we need puddings, we need Oh, what type of cake though? Let's go for a classic Victoria. It's not my favourite, but it is definitely good for any time of the year. Uh, that's a bit too yellow, but oh well, we'll work with it. This is just looking a lot like the scone now that I know it. Now that I've, yeah, this is looking more like the scone. I should have just done one piece of cake. Oh well. <laughs> it's my and we're back. My camera died and I couldn't fix the cake, so I just splashed one of my stickers on it. Um, <laughs> and I do not have a lot of battery left now either. For some reason, maybe I need a new battery for this camera. Who knows? Okay, so. Full English scone garlic bread. Let's add some lines to this garlic bread, otherwise it's just going to look weird. There we go. Oh, delicious garlic. I kind of want garlic bread now. Oh, I want garlic bread so bad. There we go. Maybe I'll go make my own garlic bread. That would be nice. There we go. Okay. That kind of works. Let's finish this off before my camera decides to die on me again. I don't know what's wrong with it. What's this colour? This is red. Let's go for a chocolate muffin. Okay, maybe I should plan these ahead instead of just picking random I'm not sure let me know what you think how could I improve this little series um, do you like the fact that I just ramble on about random stuff or would it be better if I tried to plan ahead and made it more stagey there we go chocolate muffin completed I will know that I will not be using watercolour. Again, that is for sure. This is too much too much chaos for me. Too much chaos for my poor brain. There we go. We'll have some red spots. I don't know what type of muffin this is. It doesn't look like a very nice muffin, I'll be honest. Although I do like a uh, cherry. A cherry in anything, actually, is, is delicious. So let's just add a cherry. There we go. Now we've got a little cherry here. I'm going to make it a little bigger. I can't do circles. There we go. We've got a cherry, very cute. A single cherry, kind of looks like a tomato, but who cares? No one. And that's still dry, or not, not dry, it's still wet, so let's add just a little bit more detail everywhere else. Get this cat mouth. It's breakfast cat, he's watching you. He's watching your soul. Oh god, this has made me incredibly hungry. There we go, that looks good. That looks really good. What's a food that you have not been able to eat for ages because of either lockdown 
or because uh, if like the place you used to eat it at sadly shut down, anything like that. I'm really hoping some of the places I uh, usually used to eat in Cheltenham have uh, stayed alive. So there's just some really nice places there, especially the home-owned stuff. Go. Maybe as an experiment, I'll like, I'll plan ahead and just see how it goes. There we are. There we are. There is our sketchbook full of food, food from my childhood that uh, I absolutely adore to this day, and food that I learned to love or have always loved no matter what. Uh, sadly to people's dismay so yeah that is our sketchbook i hope you enjoyed you can follow me on all my social medias down in the description and uh, let me know if you drew along uh let me see what you've drawn or let me know your favorite foods and i will see you all next week and have a great day bye bye